line chart as we know is present here like these three sections that we have so line chart is the mostly used line chart is mostly used in case of here you want to show trend related information that means uh, data should be distributed over time and you want to see it some sort of a trend or predict it that whether your sales are going up or profits are going up and down and accordingly you can take action but within the tableau the, the line chart becomes more special because you have a lot of properties to adjust like uh, size of the line chart color of the line chart and things like that so let's see it in action first of all select the measure let's say sales and uh, the order date and create a line chart and select it over here here now we have the line chart with us um, which is line chart by year but if i let's say i want to change or go a little bit down that i want to show it by quarter then i can get the quarter information and if you see this drop little triangle i can again go back see by month how the monthly sales are doing and if i want to go back again back to the let's say year which was much more better representation as it is little bit called very less clutter and you can clearly see that from 2000 to 2015 there is a little bit decline but then going forward there is an upward trend all right now let's try to create a section so let's try to create a section by putting regions and what we want to say is basically in each of the year how the regions each of the regions have performed so for that i will just drag it down here and uh, this is central region this is east this is south and west and very clearly you can see east and west are the two regions where they are really doing good and even little at certain extent south but central is where i think uh, there is a stagnant or stagnant growth from 2016 to 2017 all right uh, the last next thing i would like to show you is the changing the size of the uh, the lines so what we want to basically see i know that uh, this is increasing right but uh, how we are doing let's say in terms of profit so whether this is increasing or not so let's put it over the size and here in case of east and west because the line size is increasing at the end clearly saying that uh, its profit is increasing but in case of central it is declining because from 2016 to 2017 the line size is decreasing same is the case with south though the profit is though the sales is going up but the profit is declining all right so that's a good discovery uh, after this let's say we want to use color to really see how we are giving the discount so let's put the color on here and uh, as we can see here in case of west you know as the sales are going up there is a definitely a uh, little bit better discount or more discount we will be giving but in case of east it is more apparent because the line color is getting more darker but here in case of south i think uh, we are giving very less discount and uh, as you can see the line color is pretty much the same uh, across the years but here in case of uh, central uh, it is very clearly visible the profit is going down maybe it's because you know we are giving more and more discount because right from 2014 to 2015 to 2016 and 17 uh, the color of the line is increasing significantly so that means central is trying hard to increase its sales but it's stagnant it's reducing its profit by giving more discount so that's the kind of interpretation you can get from the from this chart so that's how you can really take an advantage of the color and size and uh, make your line chart a traditional line chart a much more visually appealing and effective and uh, useful for your end user so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic